In this video, we're going to attempt to recreate Mike Dean's famous synth sound that you can hear all over Travis Scott's albums and see what we can learn from it. I want to start with a bass, something similar to the ends on birds, a big distorted synth sound to set the tone of the track. I don't usually start ideas this way. If we take a look at this clip, we can see that this is a way that Mike Dean starts his songs. You can also see in that clip that he's using the Moog Sub 37 with a vocoder on it for a lead. I have a preset similar to this in my upcoming Layers Volume 2 bank. I recorded a spoken word vocal, put it into the vocoder and it sounds like this. Next, the core of Mike's sound, the synth pads. He uses pads all over Travis Scott's production, including on Pick Up The Phone and his Goosebumps remix. Mike often uses the CS80 and the Jupiter 8 for pads, as you can see in this clip. I opened up the Jupiter 8 from Arturia. I set it to default because I wanted to make the sound myself. We have a sawtooth wave and a rectangle wave. I pulled up the fine tune to make it sound wider. I added a chorus, a reverb and an overdrive. I also modulated the chorus and the cutoff to give it a bit of a different sound. I then layered that up with the classic strings preset from the CSAT V4. Mike doesn't use lots of crazy effects. He often lets the synths speak for themselves. The biggest asset Mike Dean has is his ability to play the keys. If you want to get more like Mike Dean, you're going to want to check out today's sponsor, Skillshare. Skillshare is an online community with thousands of classes for anyone who wants to explore their creativity and learn new skills. So if you guys want to learn the piano, the guitar, or any instrument like Mike Dean, there are lots of classes available. They all target specific areas, whether it's music theory, basic skills, musical composition. I wanted to join to improve my piano skills. I've been using the Build Piano Skills course by Elijah Fox to improve on them so I can get my musical ideas out more easily and efficiently. You don't just have to stick to music. If you want to learn graphic design to create the artwork for your next sample pack release or learn video editing if you want to start creating content, there's a bit of everything on Skillshare. All the videos are ad-free. There's new classes every week so you'll always have something new to learn. The first thousand people to become a member using my link in the description will get a one month free trial. But yeah, let's get back into the video. Next, we have another huge part of Mike Dean's sound, the leads. Amongst the huge variety of synths Mike Dean has, there's a Moog Matriarch. There's no VST for this, so again, I grabbed a one shot from Kill September's kit. As you can see, it's completely unquantized. That's how Mike Dean does it. Next, I want to take inspiration from Stargazing off Astroworld. Without Mike Dean, that song would just be two songs glued together, but he created a transition that made them blend together seamlessly. First of all, I kept the same bass sound and pretty much the same bass line. But we've added a few extra notes. It's also filtered out. I've used it a couple of times already in the video, but Kill September's One Shot Kit has a bunch of textures and chops and melodies and stuff like that. The first thing I added is this ARP run from the Matriarch. If you guys want to get that kit, click the link in the description. There's a bunch of crazy sounds in there. Next is this glitchy chopped chord kind of sound.
One thing I noticed about this section of stargazing was Mike still used the original sample in the bridge section. I wanted to emulate that, so I took the lead that we added in the previous section, brought it into here, and I pitched it down by a whole octave. Finally is this synth key bell kind of sound. The melody kind of goes up and down quite quickly. And this fits the theme of Astro World so well. It feels like a roller coaster. I also added this synth arp run from Kill September's kit again. The next section of the beat, I want to base it on sicko mode. We're all familiar with how it transitions from Drake's part to Travis's part. Kill September sent me this beat that I could use that he made with all of his one shots from his kit. To transition into it, I automated the delay on the synth key bell sound. I actually automated the feedback level as you can see here. And finally, I wanted to make the outro something like Stop Trying to Be God. I opened up the Whirly V2 from Arturia, chose the Rhodes preset, added a reverb, some super heavy compression, and I added some tremolo, which you can really hear in the song. There's also a very scarcely used organ in Stop Trying to Be God. So I chose this Woozy Synth organ preset from Layers Volume 2. <laughs> to finish it off, I added these two textures from Kill September's One Shot Kit. I hope you guys enjoyed this one. I'm just gonna play the final beat so we can hear how everything transitions together and I'll see you in the next one.